I guess my channel is going to turn into PewDiePie's at least for a little bit because I'm actually going to do a meme review, believe it or not. This is not the kind of thing I usually do, but this is actually somewhat relevant, and in fact, it is a meme that I am really, really enjoying. Doesn't Pewds have a song for meme review anyway? Yeah. Isn't it like, Leave your entries in the subreddit, bros. No, wait, that's, that's Lil Wyatt. Well, what, you know, it's all basically the same show anyway, it seems like. It's okay, I like PewDiePie quite a bit. But anyway, meme review. This article popped up about a month ago. The canals of Venice run clear as coronavirus halts traffic. Bring back the lagoon waters of ancient times. The popular tourist destination is in lockdown with visitors staying away and residents self-isolating. An absence of boats has caused the once turbid waters to clear, revealing fish populations. Oh, that's real cool. Yeah, and here in the article you got these screenshots where you can see the, uh, the fish swimming around and how clear the waters are. Yeah, it's actually kind of neat. And in fact, the European Space Agency released two pictures, one from recently and one from about a year ago, and you can actually see the difference. You can actually see how Venice has changed from space. It's kind of interesting. And you have other similar events too, like this one. Nature is healing, new pollution-free world thanks to COVID-19. The pyramids in Egypt are now visible from Thika Road. And you know what? That would actually be a really breathtaking view to behold yourself. But the point is, there's two phrases. Nature is healing and we are the virus. If you search those on Twitter, you will get some extreme ridiculousness. It's pretty awesome. Sharks are finally enjoying the wilderness now that humans are gone. We are the virus. What is this? <laughs> yeah. You know, I can't find any... Wait, is he going to jump in? Yep. <laughs> okay, I can't find the video anymore. But a few weeks ago, there was a video of a guy who was walking around an abandoned city in like a, a T-Rex, like 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 animatronic T-Rex suit, and the police were yelling at him, and it was playing the um the Jurassic Park theme. <laughs> now that the smog has cleared up, we can see Denver all the way from New York. The Earth is healing. We are the virus. Oh, is that like the Halo remastered? Man, it actually looks pretty good. I wonder if it'd be worth playing on Game Boomers, probably, honestly. The Earth is healing, we are the virus. Don't do it, Mr. Bird! You're gonna get lung cancer! You're gonna have a pre-existing condition and COVID will get you! The Daleks are returning to England. The world is healing itself, we are the... You know, I never liked Doctor Who. Even when back during the, the, the good seasons, and people people call certain doctors like like better doctors than others. I never understood it. I never, I never got it, you know? I was always more of a Star Trek guy. Well, I mean, until recently, obviously, but still. This picture was taken downtown just yesterday. Nature is returning. We are the virus. Jesus. Man, the, ca the Cats movie really was just nightmarish, wasn't it? And you know, they're making a new one, too, with the same technology. They're doing, like, a live-action Robin Hood, where it's Robin Hood as, like, an anthropomorphic fox fairy kind of guy. You think one box office flop is enough, Disney? Cows are returning to the sea. Nature is healing. We are the virus. How did they get this this picture? That's, that's like a real cow. <laughs> they just... Okay. For the first time in four generations, the headphone jack is returning. Nature is healing. We are the virus. Yeah, well, you know what? If you were a big brain like me, you'd still be using what I have right here. This, uh, this old Galaxy S2. It still has... It's from like 2009 or whatever. And it still has... The old headphone jack. Listen, listen to these ancient sound effects, dude. Ooh. I don't know, I just never felt the need to get a new phone, to be honest. Like, this one still works. I think the text of this one is actually the original text that started the meme. Here's an unexpected side effect of the pandemic. Since the humans are inside, the native wildlife is returning for the first time in years. Nature is healing, and we are the virus. Now, this picture obviously isn't the first picture. Like, like whatever, whatever picture started this meme, it was a serious post. It's just that this text went viral. I do like that people are taking the opportunity to dress up like complete idiots in really weird suits and do things outside. <laughs> crabs are back in the airports. Nature is healing. Okay, what's this video? Who flew with crabs? What, what is this video? Oh, God. Someone actually put, like, crabs. They put crabs. Someone, someone put like a box full of crabs in 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 the in the luggage on the plane, and now they're they're just all over the place. Oh my god! Why why would anyone do this? I'm kind of half expecting the uh, the crab dance to start playing here. 
And I guess normally I'd cut that in for a gag, but last time I did that, uh, I got copyright struck on YouTube. So you'll just have to imagine it, I guess. Nature is healing. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> <laughs> Man, look at the hips on her. Damn, girl. You, uh, you want to get together sometime and do some photosynthesis together? Cookies have returned to the sewing kits. Nature is healing. We are the virus. Yeah, I do have, even though I've never actually eaten any of these cookies before in my life, I really don't like them. I have about five of these containers around the house just with various things stuck in them. Just because usually, like, my parents were throwing them out and I need a container so I'd take one. Or, like, they would give me something that they had that was in a container and now I have it. I think I've actually seen more of these containers with random things in them than with the actual cookies. The rest of the Space Needles have returned to Seattle. The Earth is healing. It actually looks a little bit more like an alien invasion to me, to be honest. Maybe that's what it actually is, though, guys. Or, or you know what? It's probably something even worse. I think the original Seattle Space Needle is probably a giant 5G tower causing coronavirus for the entire world. That's what's happening. There we go. I've solved it. Pasta is returning to its native habitat in Tesco. Nature is healing. You know, where I am locally, we've actually kind of got past the uh, the the shortages stage. You, you can still only buy like two of certain items in grocery stores, but the, the, the shelves are pretty much stocked now. Like, they're, they're okay. I actually went to the grocery store yesterday, and, and the cashiers are wearing like face shields. N not just like breathing masks, but like the full, like, like covers your whole head face shield. And there's tape on the ground that says, okay, make sure to stay six feet apart from each other, etc. And it's like, okay. But I have some acquaintances that work at the store, and I asked them, like, hey, are you guys actually doing anything meaningfully different, like, in, in the background? And they're all like, no. We're just working as usual because, I mean, what's going to happen, right? I was like, okay, yeah, fair enough. There really does seem to be more of a perception of a problem than an actual problem, at least in some locations right now. Because everyone in Italy is quarantined, the natural wildlife has returned to the water and forests. We are the virus. Uh, excuse me, this is obviously a faked photo. Both of those pictures are of New York-style pepperoni pizzas. Those are not authentic Italian pizzas, so obviously someone set this up. Wildlife is returning to the Scottish streets. Nature was... What the fuck is this? This just has to be some Scottish thing that I don't get. Maybe it's just because, I don't know, Scottish people have red hair? I, I don't know. Maybe Dankula can fill me in or something. With everyone on lockdown, the trucks have returned to their water holes. Oh, isn't nature beautiful? I wonder what actually happened here. Like, is this just a Photoshop or did, did two trucks actually just drive into the river? I've seen more ridiculous things, to be honest. I just took this beautiful photo. And what's actually interesting about this photo is, I don't know if you guys know, but this is actually a real picture. I know that we just have it ingrained in our heads now that it's the Windows XP uh, default desktop theme. And it, it looks very computer generated because of how perfect it is. But it actually is a real photo. Yeah, according to the internet, the picture is named Bliss. And it was originally taken here. This is in, in Calif Southern California somewhere. I wonder if I can, like... Take the take these uh, these stats here. Maybe plug them into Google Maps and see what I can get. Now here it is, Microsoft Windows XP background photo site. We gotta we gotta check this out. It's going to. Can, can I? I can't street view it. Okay, maybe I can just take a look at it from over here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can see it. <laughs> This is definitely the spot. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. You, you got me, good job. Wildlife is returning to the city. Nature is healing! As it just blows fire all across Tokyo. There was a period of time, I was probably between like 16 and 18, when I was a little bit of an insomniac. Um, and I would actually spend my nights either uh, playing video games, which I did quite a bit, or I watched late night TV. And what was on late night TV often were um, really badly translated um, Asian movies. I actually got to see the clones of Bruce Lee then for the first time. It was a terrible movie. However, however, I did in fact get to see some some Godzilla films and you know, this stuff like this, this this cool animatronic stuff or like this cool stop motion stuff, sometimes it's like people in suits walking around like a set that is obviously just a bunch of buildings. I really have a respect for like this era of filmmaking. It's not the same when they do it in CG, you know. Here's my friend Ve Commander. Day 37. Women are returning to the kitchen. Nature is healing. We are the virus. And this is from the Twitch stream of one Ava quarantine girlfriend. I went to school for philosophy wanting to discover truth and justice, but all I found out was that I was gay and trans. 
I, I don't know if this qualifies as as women return to the kitchen. Maybe. <laughs> let's let's watch the video. Get my old headphones out. Guys, it's a layer cake. <gasps> it's a layer cake. I did it. I did. I made a chocolate cake. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That feel when men make better women than women. But I can't just steal PewDiePie's shtick forever. It is pretty fun to just check out the current memes and laugh at their best iterations. But it wouldn't be an SFO video if I didn't try to at least end it with some kind of point or, or a vision or something. The reason this meme has been relatively successful, at least kind of low-key, is because of how it's framed, the whole nature is healing, we are the virus thing. As if human beings aren't part of nature, as if we don't exist alongside it. As if we don't deserve a habitat just like every other creature on the planet does. But there's definitely this almost anti-humanist undercurrent below it with the whole we are the virus thing, as if humanity is the problem. The mere existence of humanity is what is what makes everything terrible, in, at least in their, these people's minds. I do think that humanity on the whole is probably a good thing. I don't know if that's a controversial opinion nowadays, but it's definitely how I feel. Even just avoiding any kind of religious arguments, which I am apt to do because I'm an atheist, I do think that humanity is probably relatively unique, at least insofar as we know, because we are definitely the first time that the universe has been able to observe itself. We are part of the universe. We are made up of the same matter that has always existed, and yet we're also cognizant. I think that's important. I think that's different, and I think it's special. I think it's worth preserving. And this idea that the planet would be better off without us, it's like, better off for who? You might make the argument that, yeah, okay, mankind has done a tremendous number on Mother Nature, but she gets her revenge on us and then some. We all get diseases, we all get viruses, obviously, we all get sick, we all die eventually. But if you think back like a year or two ago, or, or even longer to be honest, a lot of the, the more extreme climate alarmists were saying that unless humanity completely shuts down everything, we are doomed. There will never be another generation of humans. We're going to destroy the planet so much it'll be completely uninhabitable. You know, I, I, I do definitely believe that climate change is at least partially man-made, but I certainly don't buy the most doomerist of predictions when it comes to this stuff. But still, that was always the claim. We must shut everything down and the economic cost be damned. Well, at this point, we've done that, haven't we? We are destroying our own economies and forcing everyone to stay inside in order to get a handle on the coronavirus. And in doing so, worldwide emissions have dropped tremendously. And yet, global lockdowns might reduce CO2 emissions, but won't halt the climate crisis, scientists say. There's a difference between CO2 emissions and atmospheric concentrations of CO2. Well, what the hell else do you want from us then? We have now, unwillingly, and not for the reasons that you initially wanted, but we have now put into place all of the recommendations you were looking for, and apparently it's still not enough. So what else is there? If it just so happens that climate change is irreversible, and, and I don't think that it is, well then screw it. If turning into a complete fascist state where no one is allowed to leave the house and all economic activity must be stopped using state force is still not enough, then it's not fucking worth it. But most importantly, I still do think that human ingenuity will solve this problem. You have th this line here. There's a difference between CO2 emissions and atmospheric concentrations of CO2. Okay, so even if we stop all CO2 emissions, there's still all that extra CO2 floating around in the atmosphere that we already put there. And eventually the, the plants and the oceans will absorb that CO2 and it'll kind of level out if we all happen to disappear. But at the same time, there's still no reason why human ingenuity can't also speed that process along. There are ways to extract CO2 from the air, and I do have great hope that our cleverness will still save us yet, both in terms of the climate crisis and in terms of coronavirus. But in the end, the reason why the climate activists wanted a global lockdown, and now that they have one, they're saying that it's not enough, is because we can't beat climate change under capitalism. Socialism is the only way. Yes, it's never really been about saving the planet, it's always been about implementing socialism. That's why AOC's Green New Deal was chock full of socialism. That's why other climate activists always talk about not just the climate, the science behind it, but also about pushing social justice bullshit. The climate has always been their sneaky backdoor to bringing socialism about. Because while there are many good arguments against socialism, the honest truth is, there's not that many good arguments against environmentalism, truthfully. Think about it for a minute. Even if you don't believe that humanity is causing 
climate change. We still do want the planet to be inhabitable by humans, even if its natural cycles make it so that it's not in the future. If that is the case, we should probably work towards keeping things as they are. Secondly, there's still no problem with cleaning up the environment anyway. Like, okay, if you don't believe that um, climate change is being caused by CO2 emissions that humans are putting out, fine. You can still believe that all the plastic in the ocean was put there by humans and didn't just naturally appear there. You can still feel like cleaning up oil spills and rescuing animals from their negative effects is probably still a good thing. And thirdly, even if you don't believe in climate change, getting off of foreign oil and starting to use local renewable resources for our energy can only be a good thing politically. So, because when you really think about it, there's actually not really that much that's bad about environmentalism. That is what they're using to sneak socialism in. And of course, I completely disagree with the whole point of this article here. It is absolutely possible to be an environmentalist and a capitalist. And of course, this is all something that we know very well because of this, this article from last year. Extinction Rebellion isn't about the climate. Extinction Rebellion, by the way, was a radical protest group regarding the climate. I don't think they really exist anymore. They kind of had their 15 minutes of fame in 2019 and they died out. But this guy here says, yes, yes, I know the climate is breaking down. It's urgent, an emergency. We've only got a few years left to fix it. But Extinction Rebellion isn't about the climate. The climate's breakdown is a symptom of a toxic system that has infected the ways we relate to each other as humans and to all life. This was exacerbated when European civilization was spread around the globe through cruelty and violence, especially over the last 600 years of colonialism, although the roots of the infections go much further back. See, this is, this is all about socialism. It is all about anti-Western hatred. This is all about post-modernist narcissism. The delusion of white supremacy centers whiteness in the experience of white people. The delusion of the patriarchy centers the male experience. The delusions of Eurocentrism and includes the notion that Europeans know what's best for the... Listen, how does any of this relate to the environment? Oh, it doesn't? Oh, you're just a fucking Marxist trying to sneak all this shit in the back door? Get the fuck out of here. Extinction Rebellion isn't about the climate. It's not even about climate justice, although that's important. If we only talk about the climate, we're missing the deeper problems plaguing our culture. For these people... If capitalism actually managed to achieve all of the goals of environmentalism, but didn't implement socialism, then it would still be a failure because they don't actually give a shit about the environment. And that's why I enjoy this meme, because frankly, it makes fun of the way that these sanctimonious snobs actually feel about the environment. They post a picture of a deer running through their backyard or something and they go, oh, nature is so beautiful. Humans are so terrible. And it's like, fuck off, man. There are legitimate criticisms to be made regarding our relationship with the environment. But if your analysis of the situation ends with humans being extinct as a moral good, I just don't want to fucking hear it. You sound like an absolute lunatic. And the only way I would ever go along with your ideas is if you make yourself extinct first.